Hi, how are you all doing? HK Game here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about out of memory errors, also called OOMs. And these kind of errors is something that I've struggled with quite a lot lately, but uh, now I don't seem to get these type of OOMs anymore. And, uh, so today I wanted to talk about what I did to get rid of these errors, but. Uh, before we really get started, I want to say that uh, we all have different computers and different systems, so the things that work for me might not work for you, so if this do not work for you, uh, but you find another way, or you just know another way of get to get rid of these errors, please leave a comment down below. So I currently have a Microsoft Flight Simulator X Steam Edition, but I uh, do believe and think that this will work for you guys running a uh, normal FSX and maybe even prepared 3D. So you do not really have to do this, but the first thing I did was to uninstall FSX and delete everything that had to do with FSX on my computer, just to get rid of everything and kind of start all over again. So the first thing I did after that was of course to download some uh, FSX add-ons like F FTX Global, FTX Global Vectors and Norway etc etc. And then I turned off Light Blue. And uh, that is the first thing I would do if I got OOMs. And the reason is because Light Bloom has a huge impact on performance. And uh, if you ask me it is not really worth it at all. The second thing I did was to turn off anti-aliasing, because this is also something that can cause OOMs. So now the little display part of my CFG looks like this. One thing I also would uh, recommend you to do is to turn off aircraft cast shadows on itself. And this is something that makes our sim looks more re realistic, I have to admit that. But if you are struggling with OOMs, turning off this setting shouldn't really be a problem. Another thing to keep in mind is uh, your LOD radius in your CFG. Now, uh, this is something that probably will be a problem for you guys that are a little bit more pro when it comes to tweaking. Because uh, what I have seen is that some people have the LOD radius set to, for example, 8.5, and in my opinion, that's way too high. I personally have mine set to 6.5, but of course, if your system can handle it, it is awesome. You can have yours at 8.5, that's great. It's just that a lot of systems can't handle it. And uh, by the way, this is by default set to 4.5. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the scenery tab in your uh, display settings. The level of detail is set to large because it's set to 6.5 in my CFG. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is every time you accept or click OK, I don't really remember, in your display settings, this will automatically reset back to 4.5. So if you're gonna change something in your display settings, be sure to go and check out your CFG and change that to 6.5 or uh, whatever you want to change it to. And the mesh complexity is 100, but the, the mesh resolution is set to 5 meters. And the reason for that is because a lot of Orbex scenery works best if you have this set to 5 meters or 10 meters. The other things does not really matter, but uh, the only thing is that uh, I have my water setting set to high to X, which is, uh, yeah, that I think is the best when it comes to graphics and performance. And uh, when it comes to scenery objects, it's set to very dense and dense. So I really hope that this helped you out. If it did, be sure to leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video or whatever I'm going to make. Bye, guys. Thank you.